Well, hi, how you doing? Uh, my name is Tim, mm -hmm. and I'm one of the organizers here for Dice Tower West. And, uh, I also own a board game cafe here in Las Vegas mm -hmm. called Meepleville. That's uh, this right here. I think I heard so, about it. Oh, did you really? Yeah, yeah uh, two days ago. I have cats, and then I think Nick is one of the volunteers, and then he said he's from... Yeah, he goes to Meepleville all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One of our yeah. members there, yeah. And he said he's awesome. So I go to a lot of conventions. I love the board gaming industry. I've mm -hmm. uh, been, like, heavily involved with it for about eight, ten years now, and just, uh, wow. you know, love everything about it. As a board gamer, like, how do you get into the hobby? Well, I mean, I mean, that's different because, you know, as a kid, I'm sure we all played a lot of different types of games, right? But my first game in this kind of world was Catan, Settlers of Catan. Oh, nice. And I'm sure it was probably for oh, yeah. a lot of people, right, when they come into this mm -hmm. type of world. And then my second game was Puerto Rico. And once I played Puerto Rico, that was it. Like, all into this world. Then I just went crazy after that. Yeah, that's, that's actually pretty similar to us. To us yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. What was your first game in this type? Not Catan. We were playing a Chinese board game it's called Legend of the Three Kingdom. And then and the one actually grab us is uh, Power Grid. Oh, yeah. Power Grid's fantastic. Yeah. And again, that was one of my next ones, you know, mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. Puerto Rico. We love Puerto Rico, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but Power Grid, um, yeah, all those good, solid Euro mm -hmm. games. Mm -hmm. What would be the reason that you opened uh, Meepleville? Meepleville, yeah. yeah. So Snakes and Lattes, mm -hmm. you know about them? They're a big uh, board game cafe up in Canada. They were the first ones in North America. Because apparently, you guys probably know, over in Asia, board game cafes aren't new. Yeah, so apparently, I guess they started over there, then they moved to Europe, and then came to North America. Once I heard about it, I followed them, watched all their videos, did all the research, learned about more and more. And then once I had all the information that I felt I needed, I went ahead and opened it. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And then it eventually become like the idea of having this uh, Meeplevel Con? It was MeepleCon. So what happened was, the guy who I run it with, Dave, we met online through Board Game Geek. We hooked up, wanted to play Twilight Struggle. Uh, so we found each other, because we both live here in town, played Twilight mm -hmm. Struggle. We became great friends, played a lot of games. Then there was a board game convention in Rice Canyon in Utah which is three, four hours away. It was a small little tiny convention. So we're like, hey, let's go together. So we went. And as we're driving there, we're like, why isn't there a board game convention in Las Vegas? So we're thinking about it on the way back. We're like, you know what? We got to do this. We, we need to start a convention. Like, next day, we booked a room for two months away, started promoting and advertising. And uh, yeah, we had MeepleCon 1, which is a one-day convention mm -hmm. from 10 in the morning till midnight, hoping to get 100 people. Mm -hmm. And we ended up with 140. So we were like so ecstatic, you know. The second year, we moved to the East Side Cannery. So we moved to a little bit bigger hotel and stuff. And we were there for two years, two, three, and four. Mm -hmm. So Tom, Sam, and Z were with us for years two, three, and four. They came and supported us. They were friends. You know, we you know, talked about it and all that kind of stuff. And then Dave and I, Tom, sat down after MeepleCon 4, and we were like, hey, we should really do this. That was the birth of Dice Tower West. Last year was our first year, and this is our second year as Dice Tower West. Do you have, like, a stat that, like, saying how much more player we have this year? No, like absolutely. That? That's a great question. So mm -hmm. fourth year at MeepleCon, we had 550 people. Mm -hmm. First year as Dice Tower West, we doubled. <laughs> Just wow. because of the name, right? Yeah. Even though they were here anyway, but because it became a different name, all of a sudden it doubled in size. And now our second year as Dice Tower West, we had 1,500 attempts. So we grew another 400 people. Oh. So yeah, and we anticipate at least that growth, if not more, going in the future. So. Yeah, this is our first time to Dice Tower West, all MeepleCon. Well, thank yeah. you. Have you been to Gen Con, Origins, or anything? We've been to Gen Con like for two years. So mm -hmm. We're so happy to be involved with G-Stone because we're mm -hmm. convention in America. They're launching this at, doing this with. And I know they're real active in China with yes. conventions, and that's their whole thing to work with everything like that. So we hope to get to about 5,000. That would be our goal. But at the end of the day, the th real big thing you, we want, as you can see, is to continue being just a play con. Our library is fantastic, and that's essentially what we want. We just want to make sure, as you see, that people are just playing games. Yeah, that's right. Like, one of the biggest difference we found for Dice Tower West and Gen Con is we actually playing more games here. Correct. Instead of, like, just lurking around at the exhibit hall, trying to buy stuff. Correct. Which is also fun, but, like, sometimes we just want to really, really want to sit down and, and play a game and right. get to finish a game. Because uh -huh. like many of time in Gen Con, we have schedule. Yep. Like you only have for like two hour window and then when the time is up, you have to go. Like whether or not you have finished exactly. the game. It is really the most friendly board game yeah. convention. <laughs> We have been to, yes, yeah. thank you. That's the logo, right? The friendliest game conventions mm -hmm. on earth. Calm down, relax, and play some board games, you know? That's really nice. I guess you have heard like, things going on in China with like virus. Many players not able to gather. Because we have a friend who was planning to come to Dice Tower West. Oh, yeah. really? But the travel restriction, he couldn't make it. I hope everybody's well in China. We have our, our great concern. I know it's affected the board game industry, right? All Here my Kickstarters <laughs> are postponed. <laughs> I know. I hear things in the news and I 
watch about how uh, companies are, are vying for cures and medicine. I just hope something happens soon for the Chinese people. I'm sorry if that happens to anybody, you know, traveling around the world and stuff. So that's why I hope that they're able to contain this and get this under control as soon as possible. Thank you. Yeah, thank you yeah. very much. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's just nobody's fault. You know what I mean? <laughs> thank you. Yeah. But yeah, thank you guys okay. very much. And thank you for coming to the convention. Mm -hmm. Thank you for nice your time, cool. obviously. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please come back year after year after year. And, yeah, yeah. You know, definitely. Right in LA, so yeah, it's pretty close. Cool. <laughs> yeah, next yeah. time we'll bring more people. Good. Good. Yeah, from more China too. Yeah. yeah, from China, yes, from yes, LA, right. everyone. LA will make it as well. Yeah, yeah. Good. yeah. good deal. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys.